Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today I'll be talking about the deployment aspect, which is very important, right? Until now we talked about the test classes, how to write a test class, which is great. Now, once you finish writing all the stuff, right? Once you customize, once you finish uh, doing all kind of customization in your org, um, you should have a deployment model in place, right? Now, if you are a small consultancy house or if you are a small vendor or if you are a small, you know, unit where you have a you know, very small requirement and um, so you can look for uh, a very simple deployment model. Uh, so the deployment model um, could be a chain set, right? So that, that's an out-of-box deployment model, which is pretty handy. Um, so, you know, it's, it's usually done by admin. You don't have to be developers to do so. Uh, that's the one deployment model. Or if you are using, say, Scratch Orgs, then you have to pretty much rely on org-based or package-based deployment model, right? So usually the way it works is that, let's say, um, you have a repository, could be maintained in Azure or a GitLab or a Bitbucket or, you know, wherever, right? Or AWS. Let's say, for a second of argument, we're talking about Azure, okay? So you have a, a repo which contains your code. So usually what you normally do is that, you know, you do all your work in a scratch org, you push your changes to your repo, and then you have CI CD configured uh, using a YAML file, and that will pretty much run all of your code behind the scene, and the pipeline will, you know, validate all the changes. Once the changes are validated, you know, your code get uh, pushed to the QA environment or, or sandbox or whatever it is, right? So that's a kind of an org base, or you can do the package base where you pick and choose, you know, uh, certain features that should be deployed using a package and with the version number, right? So um, that's that's in a, in a nutshell, uh, for, you know, overview in a nutshell, right? Uh, like a in twenty thousand feet overview, I would say, you know. But it's good to know the different kinds of uh, deployment you have in place. I'm not going to demonstrate, you know, package based and org boy, uh, org based, but I can definitely show you what it meant, you know, when you talk about uh, chain set, right? Now, if you are using a developer edition, right, the free version, you will not have the chain set option available. Now, I'm using a professional edition, so I can definitely show you uh, what the chain set uh, looks like. There are two kinds. One is an inbound, another one is an outbound, right? Uh, so, um, so this is a production org, so I'll just show you uh, what it looks like. Um, so to go to the chain set, it's pretty simple. You got to, you got to go to the setup. Uh, and to go to the setup, you know, go to this gear call icon, right? And then just click on setup um, and the quick find type change. Uh, you can see that you'll have two two kinds. One is an inbound, one is an outbound. So as as the name indicates, inbound means something comes in and outbound means something goes out, right? So uh, let's say you're in a QA. So let's assume this is a QA, a QA environment. Um, so what normally happens is you go to chain set, outbound chain set, right? Um, and um, and then, you know, you just create new. You know, and then you just say demo. Oh, you know what? Um, I'll just show you um, something from the test. So you can just go to test. Um, and then I go to the sandbox. You know, I, I use this, you know, free version, uh, trial version, sorry, not the free version. So um, so forget about this one for now. So I'll actually show you from the real environment. So so this is a QA, right? So let's say you have a change in the QA environment. You want to push into the production. So go to setup here um, and um, so, you know what? Uh, let's do one change, you know, just to give an example. Um, so go to an object because it will be much better at, rather than blabbering, blah, blah. So I have this account, right? Let's say I wanted to add a field. Any dummy field doesn't matter. So I'll just say um, is deployed, right? Just a checkbox. Uh, checkbox, right? And I'm just going to say uh, is deployed. Uh, unchecked, you know, um, always put the description, uh, help text. I know this help text sucks, but 
it's a good practice right whenever you're creating feel good to have a description good to have a health text because it helps the business right if you you know you always have to think from a user perspective you don't think from a developer or from a test perspective right you have to think from a functional user perspective or a business user right some of the business users are not computer or tech savvy right they just you know get training and for them it's like a you know sometimes like a simple um entry screen so they have to get a clear information. So having a health test helps, right? Okay, cool. Uh, so you're gonna go next. I just keep it the default option, right? I, I can't be bothered. So I'm just gonna say save, right? Okay, so that's done, right? Now, but uh, you're happy with that and you want to deploy to production. Okay, so this is our production environment and this is our, um, so I'll close this one. And this is a dev sandbox, as you can see. Um, so I'll go to setup here and I'll go to the chain set. Right, like as I mentioned, right, when you are working with uh, sandbox, right, so you have to push things out. So outbound chain set, right, that's exactly what it means. So go to outbound chain set, um, and so as you can see, I've deployed a couple of them, but don't worry about it. Just go to new, say, just give a meaningful name, right? So, you know, account chain set. Normally, what happens, um, uh, Oh, just a second of me I feel it's deployed field on account so you have to give the name in such a way so maybe based on your sprint version or you know the date and time so I can just normally put um, number 18 uh, 1854 uh, sorry I mean if you're confused at the time you can see that I use Ubuntu so I prefer this time you know 1800 you know 54 so whatever Okay, um, so and description, it's always good to put the name of a component, list of components, um, and you're going to save. save. I'm not going to talk about the deployment processes, what you have. You know, it's, it's a part of a business process, a part of a governance process, right? The way you guys do deployment, but this is how the chain set works. And you might have, you know, a, a GL story where it contains a list of all the deployment files, a, a deployment guy, you know, could be an admin or could be a developer or could be an architect, right? You know, why not? Uh, can go through the list and you know do the deployment Okay, so this is pretty simple right now. You have to add a profile right because so what I normally do I just add as this admin profile. So it doesn't matter um, Here you have to add the chain set. Okay, so you add the chain set um, And then you see you have an option to choose um, uh, So we are talking about the fields. So just look for a fields um maybe custom field so custom field yeah and so we added something called ease deployed or something right yeah this one right and so add to the chain set and what we'll do and if it contains a dependency it will add that as well so if you go to view dependency it contains none so that's great now I'm happy with that so that's the only change because this is very simple change um, so what I'll do, so you have an option to upload, uh, and I'm going to upload. So obviously you have to link the sandbox to the production to upload it, right? So what I only do is that you go to, uh, in the production, you go to deployment settings, right? You go to deployment settings here. And so you have to go to edit, right? And then you have to click this one, allow inbound change. This one, the production side. So as you can see, I've done that. So once you do that, and you will have this option here, production. So you click here. This is on the sandbox, right? As you can see from the name here, not to get confused. And so I will do upload. Okay. So you know you're uploading. Uh, you know it will take probably depends. I don't know. Okay, it's done. It's pretty fair. Pretty cool, right? And now I go to the uh, production now, right? This is my production. So I go to change set. Now, you know, in the in production environment, so things are coming in, okay? So that's an inbound, okay? In in sandbox, we're pushing out, so that's outbound, okay? So you go to ch inbound chain set. And uh, so you go out here. So this is the chain set. You click here, and you will see the, you know, list of the components. If you think you missed something, you can add it. So if you are um, including an Apex class, right? So, you know, what you have to do is normally good to validate first. 
If you don't want to validate, you can deploy it directly. Like I'm going to do that. And so it asks you to run a test. Okay. So if you have, say, for instance, a manual test to run, you can keep the, you can go to the run specified test and put the name of a class file, Apex file, comma, um, separated. Um, and if you want to do all tests, you can do that, but I keep it to default because I don't have any tests to run. So I deploy it. Okay. And once it deployed, so, you know, deployment in process. So you can see your deployment, uh, status. So what do you do? You can click here and you see the deployment succeeded. So you can view details, right? And Right, it succeeded. So if you if you need to run an Apex test, it will show here. So let's look at the count. If you got this boy here or not. Um, oh, come on, not this one. You're talking about is something, right? Is deployed. Yeah, it's there, right? Fantastic. So this is how you do deployment using a chain set. Pretty simple, right? Uh, chain set is not really great if you have lots of, you know, vendors coming in, you know, let's say you're in an enterprise org, different people doing different change. Um, chain set is not really great in that case, right? You have to use an org based or package based, you know, driven by a pipeline, which is idle, right? Right. So that's pretty much I wanted to talk about uh, today, guys. I hope you guys have amazing uh, Thursday. Adios.